Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level, from yeah. everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, USA, live. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Just make it gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. He can't break your will. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Yeah. Look at a Orchid at trying to shut the liver down. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. 
beautiful body kick. Now, nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Under three minutes to go in round one. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Good punch, Lance. Ooh, head kick, Lance. He's hurt. I need you to pay attention. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Get my hand. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Liver kick. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. He loaded up there on that high kick. He's very strict when he throws that body kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Slips the punch. Plus right hand is true. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Keep your hands up. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just out of range with that right hand. Hey, he's off Take him down. Hit the shot. Take the shot. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Ooh, what a punch. Raising that guard, or this is going to be the end of the fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean, and you cannot take him on one arm. Lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Fifteen seconds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach yelled, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big 
big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice counter right hook there. How about that shin? Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, he missed with that right hand. Beautiful punch. Powerful leg kick lands. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. How good is that right hand? Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch lands over the top. Way to hide that leg kick. shot to the body. Nice you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Ooh, what a head kick. Nice loop and punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Roundhouse attempt just misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. exchange in the pocket. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Real sneaky body kick. Fifteen seconds. Just missed with the left there. Outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Oh, 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big kick lands. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. That was a nice scratch. Circling to his right. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got a good bad. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice high kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big punch lands through the middle. What a body kick. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Lands with a right hand. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. And he landed the right, right hand on the right thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Leg kick checked effectively there by Lee. Nice head kick. Straight punch lands. Oh! Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Nice kick. with a punch there. We'll see if there's more. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness even be on his feet right now. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got him hurt bad. Well, he's got his back now. in a great performance by this young man.
All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 39 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. There will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hoping.